To Sleep With Anger. Um, that 1990s film uh, written and directed by uh, <clears throat> Charles Burnett. And it's essentially this kind of like a kind of like you know like a southern fried family drama, where uh, Danny Glover basically comes uh, comes home to stay with this with this family that's having a bit of problems. You know, there there are family issues. There are you know there's 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 problems with with how people are coming and going in the house. With you know just kind of like the kind of like the the milieu of the neighborhood uh, that we get settled into. But then Danny Glover comes in um, as kind of this uh, this man from the past who has all sorts of uh, has all sorts of odd friends and has this sort of like sinister nature to him. I mean, heck, if you just like look up the poster for "To Sleep with Anger," it's it's got Glover just looking sinister, like he's just like like yes, yes, all playing into my evil scheme here. And he's kind of this kind of like party goer manipulator, like he's kind of like you know, you know, kind of like this devilish figure who kind of like you know can drive people apart by making them too rowdy, by making them kind of embrace kind of more like the sin there. Like obviously there's like a scene where like he brings some like the corn liquor, um, and everyone just surrounds him. And then he has like parties in the house where it just seems like they're very distant uh, from from family here. Like family gets pushed to the side, um, all because Danny Glover's character of Harry is just so. Uh, just so like like manipulative and just like so all over the place. And I think this is this plays into what Danny Glover does so well about being a guy who can kind of like control the room, but still seems so casual about it. But still like because even when he's like kind of like a party goer, he's just kind of like that you know that that's that little grin he's got there just kind of makes it seem so innocent. Like like he like almost like he should be there even though he's kind of like disrupting the family there. Um, the the drama in this film it actually it, it plays out fairly well even though there's a lot of scenes where you know it's it's clear that the that there's a lot of scenes built for you know for for profound acting where you know characters get to say really big lines and get to get to project them so well like this could pretty much um, it wouldn't surprise me if this could be like a one act play um, mostly because it it mostly centers around the home I mean we venture out to the church every now and then sometimes we venture out into the woods um, but it's mostly centered around a home here. Um, and, uh, most of the drama is pretty good. Uh, I think it's in some cases, I think they kind of play it up a little bit too much. Like at one point there's a scene where there's a confrontation with a knife and there's a storm raging outside and we heard the lightning and the thunder in the background, uh, to try to, try to enhance it a little bit more. And then it, it kind of feels more like, you know, like kind of like pulling the strings in this drama quite a little bit. Um, so in that aspect, it kind of took me out of the film here, but in terms of like how it dealt with, um, you know, with, with family and love and death, um, especially when, when you have like Danny Glover just mixing everything up here, um, it, it, it really gets you into its world. And I think it's mostly because, yeah, it does ease us into, uh, this family and this, and this life. And also the, the history of this family too. We, 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 we go back a, a little bit with like, with, with their stories about like the old days, um, you know, d days long past that they think are over here. Um, and, uh, I, and I gotta admit, like it, it's worth it, mostly just for Danny Glover alone, just because he he dominates both this household and this film. Uh, th th there are a few supporting uh, supporting roles here that I do think shine pretty well uh, in, in in bits and pieces. Um, but it's yeah, it's just one of those films that kind of like slowly gets you you into it, you know. And uh, and I I gotta admit, like for for as overdone as I thought some of the drama was here. Uh, I think the the performances really carry this film. That and the um, the atmosphere too. The, this this the southern atmosphere, um, and this this sense of like family that feels uh, that feels very connected, and it feels like there's a lot of history here. Like we feel like there's a very lived in essence uh, to how this film is assembled, um, and that's one aspect of the film that uh, that I that I really liked. But again, it's mostly for Glover. Glover makes this film, man. <laughs>